Have I added 9 to the equation or have I added 18 to the equation? I've added 18 to the equation, which means what do I need to subtract over here? 18. That's whenever you have something on the outside. That's when you have a number on the outside. You've got to make sure you remember that this is going to have to be multiplied by 2. Okay? So when I put this back together, when I distribute this 2 to try to get back to the first step, I've got 2x squared minus 12x plus 18. And so if I had only subtracted 9, my equation would still be out of balance. Because I added 18, but only took away 9. The 9 18? No, this 9 is this 9. Because you're always adding, which means you're going to turn around and subtract. All right, so let's factor the trinomial now. It's x minus 3 squared. Minus 9. How does it open? What's the vertex? There's a lot of things that you have to be careful and watch out for. You can't just haphazardly work through these problems. You have to think about what you're doing, which you have to do all the time, but... You really have to now. Is this an up, down, left, or right? It's a left to right. Okay, and it's specifically in which direction is it opening? To the right. Because the coefficient of y squared is positive, so it's opening to the right. All right? I mean, okay. And y squared has to be 1, so I'm going to factor out a 1 half. Okay. <laughs> All right. What's up, Harvey? Why don't you factor out a 1? Because I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I need that to stay where it is. Because I'm trying to uh, create a perfect square trinomial. Right. If you factored out your y, you've just created a whole bunch of problems for yourself. Okay. We only want to make sure that the y the y squared coefficient is one. So whatever's in front of it, we're going to factor it out. It may create a fraction in the y term. It may create something crazy. Now, James said. 20y. And he's absolutely correct. How many of you thought 5? Okay. Now, remember, we're not factoring out 2. Yeah. We're factoring out a half, so you have to be careful. Remember, when you put this back together, you need to get 1 half y squared plus 10y. And 1 half times 20 gives me 10. Okay? We're going to need to complete the square, and because there's a one-half in front of here, we need to take that into consideration. A number we put in the first box, we're not simply going to bring to the second box. All right, so what goes in the first box? Ten squared. Twenty divided by two is ten squared. All right, so that is actually what? A hundred. Now, in actuality, what did I just add? No. What's one half times one hundred? Fifty. So fifty is what I've got to take away. You're thinking from the first step when we factored out a one half. Now we're putting it back together. Okay. Now we're not dividing; we're multiplying by one half. Okay, so this is x equals 1 half y plus 10 squared minus 52. 
Again, we said this opens how? And what's our vertex? Very good. Negative 52, negative 10. Lots of stuff we need to remember and take into consideration. Right now, no. Tonight, you're just transforming and identifying the direction of opening and the vertex. Tomorrow, we're going to get more specific. I got 50 because when I distribute this one half back into the parentheses, that's 50. It's half of 100 is what I actually, because if I came back and said, all right, let's put this back together. That's one half y squared plus 10y plus 50. So this is what I just really added. So minus 50. Okay. Well, whenever you factor that, you put it as a like you put it as a hundred, like the y squared plus twenty plus ten squared. No, I would like, I would personally leave it as ten squared, because then I know all I have to do is drop down the ten. That's my that's my term. Okay, tonight on page four hundred twenty-four, you're gonna do twelve through twenty-seven every third, which is not many. <coughs> Um, and don't do the directions that are in the book. I want you to do what we did in class. I want you to change the form, identify the direction it's opening, and identify the vertex. <coughs> and that will be assignment number three.